Hello, welcome back. So the plan for this part is to pretty much throw everything we can at the Thracians in the hope of eventually breaking them down and being able to move on to another opponent. I'm just going to send this guy up to the north to try and do a little bit of exploring. So we can see that this is owned by Parthia, so they're still in the game, but I'm expecting that the combination of Egypt and Pontus will soon take them out. Uh, over here we've got the city of Rhodes, which can definitely do a lot of retraining, but one thing we definitely need to do as a matter of priority is get this guy back into this town, or at least most of his units, and we're just going to take everything we can see that's slightly weakened, try and send it into the town, so it looks like it will all fit, so that's great. Uh, we're going to put this guy in there too, and then we're going to go into the town, and we are literally just going to retrain as much as we possibly can and we should, even though it's going to cost loads of money, we should pretty much have a full force back immediately from the start of the next turn as uh, I think those are the the weaker units there so we'll focus on those um, this guy should perhaps spare a few units for Herennius Herennius is a little bit vulnerable there. There is an army here which can come and attack, I guess, but um, we'd probably be reinforced by the rest of our units, so might not be an issue. Even so, let's take the two Arcani units and just merge them together because we might as well do that. I don't think 12 Arcani on their own are going to do too much. And I suppose I could also take these Hoplites. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. And we're going to merge these with one of the weaker stacks. I think that should be okay for now. So once we've retrained everything, we should be able to go for another attack on Athens and hopefully starve it out this time. Um, I don't think the Brutii are going to have much luck with what they currently have. There is a pretty big force up here. But they've been... They've kind of just been knocking around up here for such a long time, not really doing anything, that I'm not sure if this is actually going to go and attack Thrace or not, or if they're just kind of really indecisive and uh, not actually going to do anything. Uh, we're going to take this navy, and we're going to take it over to the east. Uh, I could potentially stop off in the docks just to retrain. I think we will go via that route anyway. And before we decide what to do there, we're going to retrain this. Because our navy here is actually pretty weak until the, the rest of the navy shows up. And we're going to retrain a bunch of these. And... I'm kind of torn as to whether to recruit Principes or an Assassin. I feel like an Assassin could actually be pretty helpful, because this guy does not have too many family members from what I can see. There's all kinds of captains but very few family members. So if we can find the few family members who are left and just kind of take them out of the picture, in theory, you can just completely knock out an opposing faction by doing that, um, but I'm not sure if that would really work, to be honest. Uh, so the more expensive would be the assassin of the two. We do have quite a few units. I'm not sure if I'm that worried about units anymore. Even so, I feel like we should just go for Principes. It's a safer choice. Um, Kaidonia is not recruiting, so we'll recruit some Hastati. And we only have 449 left. There's not going to be too much we can do with that kind of money. Uh, already recruiting Kaduba. Scalabus can't really recruit anything anyway, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I guess what we should potentially do is go for peasants because the public order situation here is bad and uh, just seems to be getting worse and worse. I'm not sure why exactly because obviously we do have the Statue of Zeus now. I was hoping that would make more of a difference than it has. The squalor just seems to be getting worse. I'm, I'm mostly confused about Carthage because Carthage was doing okay for a little while. Uh, it's now started growing again. I put them up to a very high tax rate, and then I go to daily games, that's still not good enough. So yeah, we need to fix this somehow. I'm not really sure what the issue is.
See, the problem with that is that Carthage starts growing again, and I actually don't want that to happen at all. That just creates more problems further on down the line. Uh, I think we'll risk it with the 65%. It's it's not going to go for a full-on rebellion, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Lilibaim is working on the Imperial Palace, and Capua needs to get working on one pretty soon as well. So we can finally get the Marian reforms. But I think that's a, just about all we can do for this turn. Um, we can potentially... Ready to sail. Hmm. Perhaps what I should have done is retrain the Byream. I'm not really sure where I'd get that money from though. No, I think it's fine. We'll just end the turn. Uh, obviously these guys are not going to be retraining this turn, so we'll send them a little bit further along. And I guess we'll just end the turn there, see what happens. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So this is our faction leader. Uh, looks like they've come to attack us rather than let us siege the town. We can kind of single these two out. Uh, we might actually be okay. So he's got three units of cavalry there, some warhounds, and some infantry, but no sign of any archers. Captain Keeman. Can't actually see anything about him for some reason. Oh well, let's take the fight. He's got to come to us, and we should be able to use that to our advantage pretty easily. Okay, to make things even better, we've got an absolutely massive hill here that we can just completely park ourselves right on top of, and he's going to have a really hard time breaking this. Uh, we should definitely position ourselves such that we can actually spread out a bit, so potentially we should go slightly further down than this. Um, I think, obviously, some of his units are going to be coming from right down there, but others are possibly going to come from this direction. Maybe not. Uh, this direction, I think, next to this big rock. I think. So they might not suffer from the hill penalty quite as much as his main force, but either way I think we should be pretty much fine. We do have loads of cavalry as well to chase them down the hill, and that's going to work extremely well. Just put them there for now, uh, and these guys too. Uh, the general we're going to keep at the back I guess, just for the morale, and we've got a couple of ranged units that we can use to harass, but do have to be a little bit careful because obviously he does have quite a few units of cavalry. I think equites are superior to the Spanish options, but that's not saying that much because obviously they are enhanced by the, the difficulty setting that we're on. Let's just start the battle as a... Uh... Okay, so they're actually coming from really far away with the reinforcements, so those are going to be pretty tired by the time they reach us. I, I could be more proactive here, I could go and attack, but... I don't know. It's on them to come to us, and they will be tired by the time they do. I don't see any reason to rush it. We'll just let them come here, and we will attempt to rout them as quickly as possible. So the main risk here is I, I have given them a little bit of time to kind of bring their reinforcements slightly closer to their main forces, but I, I don't think that's going to matter too much. They still have to come and attack us here on this hill. And uh, they're not going to have a great time with that at all. Uh, this looks awesome. I'm enjoying just looking at the forces. But uh, we should actually use these missile cav just to kind of harass them slightly. There's some round shield cav there which hopefully won't be able to chase us down. Uh, hopefully we are a little bit too fast for them. But definitely want to weaken them in any case. Uh, the naked fanatics are nice easy targets for the most part, but um, got to be a little bit careful because they can get chased down by the cavalry pretty easily. These guys should be a little bit safer. Uh, they're slowly coming up. I'm pretty sure we can route these very quickly. They won't take the peeler well. First volley is going across and we are getting quite a few easy kills there so that's great. They've already used up half their projectiles but that's fine. We'll just spend them as best we can. Uh, they are slowly moving towards the cavalry. I should actually charge them, I think. With these kind of numbers, I'm hoping we can inspire some kind of mass route. You guys need to just run away. Okay, have successfully routed the first. Let's try and get the second. Don't really want to completely depend on my cavalry here, but it might just end up playing out that way. 
uh, they could actually get a, a hill bonus against us here. I think I might actually bring the general in. Even though he's our faction leader, I think it's worth the risk just because as soon as he charges in, he should route them. Okay, these guys have been caught out, unfortunately. I did try to run them away, but it didn't work. Still, definitely going in our favor overall. Take these back, and let's check on these guys once again. All seems to be going pretty well. Naked Fanatics routing down the hill. What else have they got? Some skirmishes there, Naked Fanatics. Uh, one more general unit there. Round Shield Cav should be able to handle that okay. I will actually pull these back. Steal the Warhounds, so uh, these guys could actually be in some trouble with that. So let's send in our actual infantry, because... Uh, I am actually pretty scared of these Warhounds, they could do some some real damage to us. I don't know if we can actually... Yeah, we can't actually tell our units to attack them. Hopefully they will just do it on their own successfully, but um, definitely taking some losses there. Still, I think it's okay for the most part. Uh, we can see these guys coming towards us, we might as well try and charge them. Even though we are going uphill, I'm hoping that just sheer numbers here might manage to rout them. So they can see their own allies routing, and yeah, they do just break immediately, so that's great. Cavalry probably will do most of the work here, if not all of the work. So you guys have hopefully at least dealt with your your dog problem. Looks like it, more or less. Okay, so there's the round shield cab there. Scutarii, Naked Fanatics. Skirmishes, obviously, we can route whenever we feel like it. I think we should just gather these up top of the hill. And one final charge should be enough to break them. So they are coming towards us with the round shield cab. That might be because of our, our ranged units. Kind of luring them in perhaps. But yeah, we should just be able to charge into these with all of our forces. Expecting to break them pretty much immediately. We've got a good surround going on there. Should catch out the general pretty nicely. Yeah. Absolutely eviscerated. He's gone, and now we go after the naked fanatics. They should break pretty quickly, and skirmishes obviously don't stand a chance. Unfortunately, that's not a family member, so it doesn't really matter that much if we've killed the general himself, but still. Let's get as many kills as we can. There's uh, some more naked fanatics up there, but only 47. I'm pretty sure they're just leaving the field. Perhaps not. Okay. I'll try and chase them down with the general. Actually, it's the only units left on the field that can actually kill us, so we should probably go with one of our weaker units instead. And, uh, let's run these guys in too. I'm sure they won't make it, but we'll have a go. The enemy army is in flight! Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. All right, we'll get as many kills as we can. Um, we don't really want to be dealing with too many stragglers. Hopefully, but I've not actually had too many fights in mountain ranges in this campaign so far, so that was quite fun. Obviously, a little bit easier than it should have been because of the uh, rather fortunate position that we were in. But there you go. That should be it now. I can't see who's left on the field. I'm just going to end the battle. Whoops! Didn't mean to press that. There we go. Generals, and this day is clearly our victory. Okay, took almost no losses there, so that's great. We can actually move on most of this force to potentially attack another Spanish settlement, but do have to be a little bit careful just because uh, we know that public order has tended to be a problem in Spain in the past. Some units got some experience there too, which is great. One unit in particular, over 300 kills, very nice. Okay, so looks like Thrace also wants to fight us. Um, they're coming to fight us at Sparta. I would think we can win this. Definitely. Similar kind of situation to before. They have to come to us. Can't remember exactly what this guy has. He's got a Greek turncoat. That's not going to help. A uh, Carthaginian turncoat. 40 years old. Um, what army does he actually have? I don't know. Still playing the victory music. Okay, I think we're just going to have to go into it. It says it's in our favour. I'm hoping we can make it work, even though I have no idea what this guy actually has. I think he has the Cretian Archers, which could definitely make a difference. 
We'll have to see what happens with the, uh, the actual terrain as well. I think it's going to be pretty flat. That's fine. If they have to come to us and we have Cretian Archers, that's uh, a really easy thing to take advantage of. We also have Hoplites, which we've established have shorter spears than the Phalanx Pikemen, but um, they're still pretty decent as... Uh, Interesting. Very interesting landscape here. It looks like we haven't quite got a hill we can use. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be a good thing at all to back ourselves onto this big rock, which is completely messing up the camera. Yeah, there is a big hill, but... I suppose we might get a very a very minor hill bonus. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take the hoplites as a front line and put them here. And then we will group Christian archers together, uh, spread them out to keep them safe from opposing missile fire. If we can. For some reason this one's not listening. There we go. Okay. You guys spread out like that. And if we just surround them... I think it's this big rock. I think that's making it harder for them to actually go into spread formation. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely the rock. Okay. I'm hoping we can keep these nicely defended if we just surround them with enough of our units. Uh, I don't want to put everyone in spread stance just because we're kind of going to be a bit too spreadly thin if we do. But they have started there. Uh, Triarii are going to be needed to deal with cavalry potentially, so let's keep them near our flanks. And... Peltasts are pretty good, mercenary Peltasts. We definitely want to involve them. Who's left? Okay, Equites and some more Peltasts. And then we've got another unit of Astarte, which, honestly, if we just put them right here, if that works. Something like that. That's going to make it really hard, actually, for the opponents to get around and flank us, on that side at least. And then we've got our general here to back up our slingers and our peltas and things. Let's actually put some more peltas here too. Might as well go into spread stance because this does actually look like some pretty decent terrain for us. And put the equites on this side as well to potentially run a few opponents down the hill. And uh, okay, they're actually coming from that direction. I think those are just three big trees. I was worried that they were onagers, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Um, well, okay, first we've got to deal with these guys who are coming in from here, and then hopefully we can turn around before the rest reach us and take them on too. I'm assuming that he's just going to come straight for us instead of trying to group all his units together. Does look like they're on the move towards us. We've got Phalanx Pikemen, Folksmen, Archers. Our own Archers should be superior, so I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. Obviously do want to keep the losses of Cretian Archers to a minimum. They are our best unit, and uh, I don't know how long it actually takes for them to regenerate. If I run around the back, they've got Greek Cavalry, uh, and just the Archers. I could try that. I could just try going for a, a Cavalry push. It looks like he's just going to charge everything straight into us. But our units are all pretty much firing now. You guys aren't, so perhaps you should go and do that. Um, you guys actually start throwing. I haven't taken any losses on the Christian Archers yet, so that's great. Just weaken these as much as possible. Everyone's in skirmish mode, so they should back off pretty quickly. Once they get near. In the meantime, we'll just try and get as many kills as we can. Uh, you guys need to fire at will. Triari, I think, should come in from the side, hit them like that, and then let's bring these guys around the back. So we have routed one of them. Okay, let's run these guys into that side. Uh, you guys... Well, the Hoplites are going to be in some trouble. Let's try and flank them. You guys come around the back. I don't think they're routing, I think they're just... Yeah, they're just reforming. Okay, so we've got to try and route them. Charge these in the back. Hopefully route them, yeah. I've routed one of them. Other ones should break pretty quickly as we come in from the other side. Okay, great. Okay, so that's one of their armies down. 
take out the archers, that will be the official end of that particular force, and then we just have to regroup before the rest reach us. They have got a general's bodyguard there, so I think that I think that's a family member. I would have thought so. But yeah, let's actually regroup over here. So let's take all of these guys. Form up like that. So they are actually coming towards us pretty quickly. Slightly alarming. Not too many cavalry though, so it might be worth just throwing some units in. Seeing what easy kills we can get. General's bodyguard needs to be a little bit careful of. I'm going to bring up my Triarii to potentially deal with these. As, uh, who's not moving? Skirmish is going to do some damage to those. As, uh, they're charging into us now with the General's bodyguard. Okay, time to go in. Do what we can against that. They have managed to catch up to our Christian archers, but we have managed to scare them off, so that's great. Uh, he's coming up now with the rest of the units. Uh, you guys are going to keep running. That's, that's actually looking pretty dangerous. I need to, I think, bring the general in to deal with these. Fortunately, they're not going after the Christian archers, which is good. We kind of need that to happen. Okay, they've routed us. You guys charge in. Taking some pretty bad losses there. How's the general doing? Chasing after these. Okay. I think we need to take these guys out of skirmish mode and just accept that we're going to make a pretty bad fight there. You guys are holding out, but about to get hit by the Phalanx Pikemen. Haven't really got too much to deal with those. I'm going to try and ideally fight them with the Hastati, wherever those are. General's bodyguard is pulling back. You guys are gonna pretty much just route, I think, if we don't move you out of the way. Uh, right, we've got these guys. There's just Velites. So where actually are our main forces? Over here, I think. Okay, that's bad. Big route going on there. Let's try and bring the general back over. He has managed to win his fight at least, so that's good. Prepare to charge in the back. Triaria are under attack. That's some good news. Okay, let's run these guys over. We're gonna need them. Get these guys out of Phalanx. Charge them in. There's, uh, we've lost one unit of Astarte there. Let's chase, uh, chase down these Peltasts and rout them. And... Cretian Archers. Looking slightly vulnerable, but I think they're mostly okay. Everyone form up. You guys... Start running towards these. We've actually managed to persuade their Phalanx Pikemen to turn around, so that's great. Uh, let's just run past all this, ignore all this. Gotta be careful to try and get these guys in the back. They're actually getting trapped by their other Phalanx Pikemen. Hoping we can route these if we hit them in the back. So they are wavering. Okay, broken those, that's great. Chasing those down, archers there. I think we've lost our other cavalry unit, but that's great. We've actually taken them out. And I think... I'm not sure, but I think that gets us Sparta, because we have taken out the defending force of Sparta. Possibly, if it doesn't, then they'll just be left with almost nothing in the city itself. Uh, you guys aren't going to have much luck chasing down the cavalry unit, so just ignore that. You guys are going to run after these, and you guys should try going after these. To be a little bit careful of friendly fire with the Cretan archers who still have most of their ammo left. Did take a few losses there, but still got most of them alive, so that's great. Uh, right. I think we're probably not going to have too much luck chasing down all of these, but yeah, I'll mop these up and we'll get to the, the finish screen. Okay, all in all that wasn't so bad. I'm predicting that the Cretan archers probably got more kills than I expected, even though they didn't look like they did too much, they did get... One of them got 206 kills, another got... Uh, I'm not actually sure if I'm looking at this right. 130 I think on that one, and then... 119 on the other, and then... Roman General. Prep loads of kills, nearly 500 in fact. So hopefully we've... Maybe not taken Sparta itself, but at least weakened it to the point where... We can potentially take it next turn. 
Alternatively, I'm not completely against the idea of starving it out, because I, I don't love siege battles, and uh, it doesn't look like we've taken it. A new man, Gaius Marius. Well, that's got to be the Marian reforms, right? We've got the Marian reforms, so that must be because of Lilybaim. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> that's obviously been the case for a long time. We've been able to upgrade the Imperial Palace for a long time in Lilybaim, but I've not been doing it because I thought, I read somewhere that you can only upgrade, well you have to upgrade to an Imperial Palace on the Italian mainland, and I wouldn't have thought that Sicily counts as that, but apparently it does, that's my only explanation because we clearly don't have an Imperial Palace in Italy just yet. Blockade the port of Carthago Nova for one minor exotic unit, okay. Oh, we've captured Spartus, that's great. Uh, we can exterminate them, I know they have a low population. I know there's a strong argument for not exterminating them, but... They, and they are pretty happy, to be fair. They are pretty happy, but you know what, I just... I'm having too many public order problems in highly populated places, and I just want to drop that population as much as I can. They've only got 1,100 left now, but I think that's honestly worth it. Uh, let's potentially upgrade the weapons on our Cretan archers, just to make them even better. As it doesn't appear to have too much else left. There is quite a bit here next to Athens, but I'm not seeing any doom stacks at all now, no full stacks at all, as it looks like the Brutii, a bunch of vultures that they are, are preparing to come in and take Larissa and the rest of his towns, so potentially I should go for Larissa as soon as I can, as uh, we've also taken this town, I don't recall being given the option of whether to exterminate that or not, so I'm a bit confused by that, but Mines plus one is certainly tempting. Most definitely. Diplomatic information. Julia has come back to war with Thrace, didn't realize they made peace. Midia and SPQR have declared a ceasefire. Does that mean they want one with me? Because I've been trying to get one for a long time. Just so I don't have to think about them anymore. No, okay. I will kill them at some point, I'm sure. cadenia has got a blacksmith. And... I think we have now lost the ability to recruit Triarii, so it's a good thing we got a few while we could, because I think Triarii are surely a lot better than Auxilia, which are their closest equivalent post Marian units. They're 6 and 16, whereas Triarii are 8 and 17, so yeah, slightly better version of Auxilia, really. Um, we've got Legionary Cohorts and Early Legionary Cohorts, which take only one turn to recruit, and then we've got Praetorian Cohorts, which take two turns to recruit. And I've heard it argued that legionary cohorts are actually the better choice just because the extra turn of waiting that comes with the Praetorian and Urban cohort is arguably not really worth it. Um, they're pretty expensive in terms of upkeep, but these units in general are far better than what we've had up to this point. Um, one slight concern is that now our Roman allies are also going to have upgraded units, and they are going to be absolutely wiping the floor with the various barbarian factions. So it's kind of a race with them now, because they are going to be pretty much unstoppable at this point. Uh, I would like to take this town, because that will be an ideal kind of frontier town against the Julii, but still a way of being able to do that, unfortunately. Um, they seem to be having a lot of trouble actually dealing with this very small force of rebels. Long Shield Cavalry. Family member here, 61 years old. I'm pretty tempted just to wait for him to die of old age because he's got three silver chevrons, so he's going to be pretty hard to take out. Faction announcements. Some dudes got married, that's great. Blasted. Okay. Not, not so subtle by the game there. Not subtle at all. Okay, Carthage. It's... It's rioting. We're just gonna keep recruiting peasants because I'm not really sure what else we can do. The population is stagnant. That's kind of what we wanted. They're not getting much happier, but we can construct the awesome Temple of Vulcan. I think that's only really a 5% public order improvement compared to before. And Circus Maximus is just so expensive that I don't massively want to go for it. Um, let's repair. This is gonna cost so much. 
Yeah, gonna have to just drop these guys to low tax rate because it's just not good enough. Like, I just have to deal with it. As much as I don't want the public uh, the population to grow, I I do want public order to at least kind of resolve itself. And right now it's looking really bad. We're also gonna build a market, even though that seems counterintuitive because I'm trying to keep population growth down. I actually realized also that in order to build the arena and the blacksmith in fact, we do need uh, a trader and a market uh, along with the academy, so we do need to get this ironically, well not ironically I guess, but um, counterintuitively it will improve our happiness I think overall because it will give us the ability to build that arena which is hopefully going to make all the difference. Uh, Corduba, I would really like to actually be able to step out of this town. I'm not sure how long it takes for these guys to actually transform into new types of units. Okay, and as expected the Thracians have completely dissolved. I'm not sure about the Spanish. It looks like they have just dissolved, but I suppose it's faintly possible that they've just kind of retreated into the shadows, but if I had to guess I'd say they're, they're all gone now, and we should be pretty safe just to make a move on another town. On balance it might be a good thing that uh, we didn't get given the opportunity to exterminate this town because we can actually do some things with it now, like building paved roads. Mines plus one obviously will at some point pay for itself, but I think paved roads are just so much cheaper that we kind of have to go for that, and I will retrain these just to upgrade their weapons. This is fairly cheap to do so. Uh, Cordoba, we're going to keep recruiting units. Let's go for... Let's just go for a standard early legionary cohort. You guys we train the peasants. 7,000 left in the bank so I can potentially, next turn at least, I can potentially start building the Imperial Palace in Capua which we still will. I wish I'd known that sooner about Lilibium. Like it's not necessarily a wholly good thing to have the Marian reforms just because um, I'm not that scared of Thrace, like in the grand scheme of things I never was that scared of Thrace but um, having to fight the two rival Roman factions is more daunting prospect and going to be all the more daunting as they finally start to sweep through the opponents, which they will. I think these guys should be good now. Go and attack Sparta. So I'm actually going to take the Cretan archers. And who is our best general? This guy actually has two silver chevrons. Gold chevrons in fact, so he's really strong. He's only 34 years old as well, so he can only get better. I think that's the guy from our last fight. Doubtful courage, that's not good. It's not all good. He's the flaccid guy too, for, for what it's worth. Um, this guy... He's a vanquisher, doesn't really have any effect on battle. Scant trust. So I guess he's better for morale, for what it's worth, but... I don't know. Yeah, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy instead. Uh, we're going to take the Cretan Archers, and we will take one unit of Hoplites, and we will move them out of the town. How is this town doing in terms of public order? Normal tax rate, 115%. Got to very high, we've got 75%, and if we just recruit some peasants, hopefully that'll calm that down slightly. You can also build the arena a nice easy way to keep them happy. And let's retrain some of these units. Triarii sadly are not going to be able to replenish now because they are officially obsolete. Uh, likewise for these. Do we want to go for Praetorian Cohort or just play it safe with the Legionary Cohort? We'll go for Legionary and we will take our new leader. I suppose if we join this guy up, just put him in like that, then he doesn't become the commander, I don't think. Okay, great. So the actual commander is the guy who doesn't have the morale penalty, which is what we want. And then we're going to take some nice full stacks. 
join them together. Still afford a few more, so let's go for Milites, Triarii, Equites, Stati. That's pretty much a Doom stack now. Can afford one more stack. Some more Triarii potentially. As we don't need too many Triarii because we are mostly going up against infantry, obviously Triarii are better against cavalry. But with that in consideration... I suppose we should just take the Pearl Tasks, I guess. And now we're going to take this big stack and we're going to push this guy back. There's no way this guy's going to fight us, he's going to move back. And now we've got this guy in front of us instead. He moves back too. And I'm not sure how many more movement points I actually have. Check the UI. So it looks like I can go a little bit further. I do want to go towards Athens, but I might have to fight this guy. It's fairly weak. Yeah, he can't run any further, so we do just have to take the fight. Um, it's not going to be a hugely interesting fight, because it should be fairly straightforward, but I don't massively trust the auto-resolve for this, so we'll have a go ourselves. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, they've backed up right to the furthest possible corner of the map, so we're going to have to just walk the whole way across the map here. Fortunately, their two armies do seem to be slightly disjointed. I'm going to send the mission archers running over. Potentially defend them with our cavalry, as I don't think they have any cavalry of their own. Can't really tell from this distance, but we will soon find out. Uh, we've got lots of other skirmish units that we can also risk, so I think we will. And our infantry. I think in theory these guys shouldn't really need to rush over, as actually they are coming towards us. I'm a bit surprised by that. I think this might be a cavalry unit. We will be able to tell as we get closer. I still can't quite tell what these guys have, but our own cavalry is going in first. Should be able to defend our Cretan archers from any nasty attacks. I don't really think we're going to be able to use the hill to our advantage. So yeah, they are actually just pulling back. That's definitely a cavalry unit. I think it could be missile cav though from the way it's so spread out. We'll see as we get closer. These guys need to move slightly further forward. Okay, so they've got phalanx pikemen, folksmen. I don't think he has any cavalry units, and I don't think he has any ranged units either. So I think this is the only cavalry unit actually on the map right now. So keep an eye on that. That's going to be the biggest threat. Move these guys up to here to defend. Coming forward are the Folksmen. Okay, he does have some Pale Tasks. For the most part, it does look like just standard infantry units, so... Let's just try and shower those with projectiles and scare them off. Christian archers are taking some hits from the Pell Tasks. I could try and catch those out. I will actually try and go around the side with these guys. And... We're gonna try, potentially, to... Run the tree area just to deal with the missile cav if they come any closer. Yeah, militia cav, so they are missile cav, so potentially not a huge issue. Probably won't charge us without good reason. So the longer we leave this, the more kills we're getting. We do have just so many range units just to absolutely feed off these guys. So they're pulling all the way back. They've got some folksmen, that's going to make things slightly more awkward to deal with, but um, if we just straight up charge the Peltas, then hopefully we won't have to massively engage with those. The morale's fairly good for now. Okay. It's just slightly risky. I, I don't massively like it. I'm going to pull out. Pretty worried for my general here. He's not really going the way I expected him to. I'm going to try and just route this one unit. If I can. There, we have successfully routed one of the Phalanx Pikeman units, so that's great. Uh, a little bit of a mass route going on here. I'm going to try and charge towards these. For some reason, my guys are just not listening. But I'll keep running in this direction, and hopefully nothing too terrible will happen. Uh, these are the Equites, so that's fine. We'll let them take the brunt of the attack. And the others should just be able to come in 
and finish them off. Taking some losses here, but I think it's just safer to just nip this in the bud and deal with it now. Um, they are doing some real damage to us, but they are also wavering. So their numbers are dropping like crazy now, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's just completely broken them, so that's great. I'm not really worried about these, I think. Yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna route. Um, it's gonna take a while for them to actually get to our infantry. Uh, looks like the militia cav are coming towards us. I think we're just gonna have to charge into these. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. This should be a pretty good matchup for us too. The enemy general flees. Press yep. forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. Okay. I think we'll resist the temptation to charge down here. We'll leave this to the ranged units. We swap these guys now into flaming ammo. That should drop the morale even more. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Okay, so biggest stack. These guys are still fully healthy. Let's focus on those. Triarii. It's not going to be a great fight for them if they do get caught, but I don't see why they would. And let's just finish these off. These guys are already shaken. They feel good about being on, on the hill, but that's not really going to help them. They are just militia hoplites. They're not phalanx pikemen. So they're going to break pretty quickly. I'm actually just going to move these guys completely out of there. I don't think there's any reason to actually engage with these head on. Not sure why these guys are going so slowly. and run them out of there. Shoot these guys in the back. I think they're fairly confident just because they have all the numbers, but as soon as they start taking some hits, they are just going to flee, I'm pretty sure, and that'll be the end of the fight. Yeah. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. And we'll just finish those off with the cavalry, make sure that our ranged units Keep themselves busy to avoid friendly fire, and I'm pretty sure not a single one of these 120 militia hoplites is going to make it out alive. Run them down. And that is going to be it. Okay, it took them long enough, but there we go. Okay, so they did get a few kills, but honestly, to take out like nearly 800 guys in that fight was probably worth it. I was tempted to auto-resolve, but you can't really trust auto-resolve. And in particular, I don't want to do any auto-resolving with the Cretan Archers because they are just so important to us. And uh, they could take some unnecessary losses there. But we are now able to move towards Athens. We can besiege it this turn, so that's great. Let's put down a couple of siege towers, a few rams, and uh, it can actually survive for nine turns. Uh, there's almost no defense in there, so I don't think we should be even giving them that chance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can just take that on next turn. I don't think this guy's actually going to come and fight us. He's got a fair few units with him, but nothing too scary. As, uh, this is still a full stack. Uh, Corinth is already recruiting. Also retrain a few units, so might as well do that. And we've still got 4,500 left in the bank. Let's see if we can do anything about Thapsus. Could recruit some peasants. Is it worth repairing the stable? I'm not really sure. We can't recruit peasants anymore. So I guess peasants are just gone as part of the Marian reforms or something. I'm a bit confused by that. Or perhaps... Okay, yeah, we actually depend on the Imperial Palace to recruit peasants. Okay, so we can't recruit any peasants there this turn, but we can do that later. Uh, I will get the awesome Temple of Vulcan just because it is a little bit of public order, and every little bit of public order is going to help. 
Uh, Styric is already busy, and we've got 1,300 left in the bank. We have got a, a pretty good force here, actually, that we can use. Could actually go all the way north and attempt to take this town, the Thracian capital. That would be an option. Uh, alternatively, I could maybe start thinking about going to Siwa and taking that. Now, I'm not really sure about that, because that obviously does risk uh, a big war with the Egyptians, and... Although I'm more confident about that now that we have the Marian reforms, I'm not sure we need to go with it just yet. Um, this is just a ship, doesn't carry an army with it, so we don't have to worry about that. This one, likewise, don't have to worry about that at all. Let's actually bring this navy together. Let's join them up like that, and then move towards the Thracians. And, yeah, I think we've done enough for this part. Uh, lots of fighting. Three big battles at least. Uh, but we've made some definite progress. We've got Sparta, we've got another town in the west. Uh, we're ready to take Athens pretty much from the start of next turn. You guys go into Corinth. And... Potentially can start thinking about finishing off the Spanish, which we will need to because the Julii are just going to absolutely cleave through what's left of Gaul. Now that they have the Marian reforms. But yeah, it should be interesting. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.